For artisan producers up and down the country, the Scottish Championships here at the Royal Highland Show is one of the highlights of the year. The impact on business after winning a gold award cannot be underestimated. Over two days, the judges have tasted and handled hundreds and hundreds of products in the four key categories, bread, cheese, ice cream and crafts. So Amina, how do you judge a bread? What makes a good bread? I think it depends on which category you're going for. So we had a few different categories today. There's different criteria for each kind of bread. We're looking overall for the appearance of each bread. We're looking for the texture, the crumb, the crust, the flavours and the kind of integrity behind it. So what's the story behind it? How was it developed? What is the thought process behind the whole loaf? You know, what is it? What's its message? I know it's quite a lot to maybe put onto just a loaf of bread, but it's the staple food of every table, so it, it brings people together. So you want it to be, to have a strong presence, basically. How easy is it going to be to find a winner or a few winners out of this? It's been really difficult. And mm -hmm. I think, you know, standards have been exceptionally high. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been blown away by, mm -hmm. by how even even in the, the lockdown category, mm -hmm. how professional the bread oh, is yeah. Yeah. in a home-baked oven. And what, what we're looking at is first is just the appearance, what it looks like um, for us before we even try to smell it or do anything else. So I'm just going to take a small wedge out. So what, what I've done is I've cut the cheese up without really doing much, but just going to pass on to the fellow judges and we're going to look for texture and aroma. What are you looking for when you're eating an ice cream? One word, balance. Is it pleasant? Does it feel nice? Does it leave a nice aftertaste? It's all, it's Goldilocks really, just right. And Joseph, what about you? Well, similar to Vince, but uh, slightly different in the sense that I'm looking for a lovely smooth texture. Obviously the milk and the cream is a really important ingredient inside the chocolate ice cream because in Scotland we're blessed with the, the best of milk and cream. How easy is it going to be to find a winner? It's not going to be easy. It never is because there are four judges here and we all look, uh, look at things differently. We are subjective but then we look at the objectivity is what Joseph said as well. Look at the balance, the texture, the whole lot. There are some things that you have to judge even if you don't like the ice cream which uh, um, is very important in the judging of it. So you're, you like the vanillas? I'm a traditionalist. Vanilla goes with everything. What about you, Joseph, your favourite? Yeah, well, I, I do tend to like chocolate ice cream uh, above vanilla, but today, is all, in my opinion, is all about innovation. So the next class after this, which is our open class, will be fantastic because there'll be lots of mixture between scottish style ice creams with tablets and oatmeal and whiskey and marmalade, and then we'll have other innovations from other parts of uh, Scotland and the world. So this is a really hard job. Let's have a go. Mm. Mm, that was absolutely divine. And this is a hundred million dollar question. Yeah. Both of you have Italian roots. So who does make the best ice cream? Scots or the Italians? <laughs> Aha, that is a very good question. The Scottish Italians make the best ice cream. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> So tell me, what are you looking for today? That there's so many lovely things surrounding <laughs> yes, there us is. here. It's, it's sometimes very difficult. In the knitting, we're, we're looking for design and colour and all the different techniques as well and degree of difficulty as well. So colour, you say, is important? Colour and design is important, but the technique is more important. You know, we're looking for nice, even tension, no knots, um, no threads hanging from inside. 
I'm afraid sometimes people that are entering maybe think the judges don't turn things outside in, but we do. <laughs> so yes, we're looking for all these things. And Linda, this year's competition has a bit of an Olympic theme, Yes, it? It, it certainly does. Yes, we have ski socks, ski jumpers, hats, mitts and um, some mascots, I think you would say. We have a stuffed horse, which is um, representing the horse riding part of the Olympics. And we have a Toad of Toad Hall uh, skating on thin ice. And do things get better over the years? Yes, I think they do actually. I think the standard is very high and it has increased over the number of years that I've been involved, which obviously makes it more difficult for amateurs coming in and, and having a go. But I always say to them, you know, if you don't enter, then there wouldn't be anything for us to judge. So it's nice for everybody to have a go and it's a bonus if you win a prize. <laughs> Although we all like to go home with a ticket, don't we? <laughs> well, here at Ingolston, it's taken two delicious days of tasting and testing. But in the end, there can only be one overall champion in each category. And for the first time, we couldn't split between two loaves. Um, it was unanimous that uh, both these breads should be joint winners. Um, one is um, Scotland bread wholemeal, a, a very um, beautiful, um, simple, but wholemeal and wonderfully nourishing loaf. And the other one is a seriously fruit and sesame, um, which was equally delicious in its own way and very different. Um, and although they were all completely anonymous, uh, that award, the joint award, is going to the same bakery. <laughs> they were both wild hearth. So the winner is St Andrew's Farmhouse Cheddar. The champion of this year's show is Alanda's Gelato in North Berwick with an apple strudel ice cream. I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the 2021 Royal Highland Showcase Championship is Janice McCabe with her needle felted horse jumping over one of the jumps at the Tokyo Olympics. We've actually been really pleased with the level of entries that we've had and the quality. And we've had new classes, for example, in the bread championships. We've had a lockdown baker class, and it just shows that people have been baking together and, and, and learning new skills during lockdown. So that's been really great. I mean, it's, it's a new format for us as well as our entrance, but I think people have responded to the idea that their products will get a worldwide, potentially, audience on the live stream. And, you know, it's reaching new places that they might not have reached before. So we've had a great response. We're really pleased with how the competition has gone. I will be calling the winners to, to speak to them um, after we've finished the whole competition. And that's a really great job to do because they're just so delighted to have won at the Highland Show. So yeah, that's, that's one of the best parts of my day. Well, it's a great accolade, I think, to have won at the Royal Highland and to be able to say that your product has been awarded a gold or even one of the special champion prizes. It's, it's a great accolade, I think, to use in your marketing and to be able to say that you're a Royal Highland champion. When does the planning start for next year's Scottish Championships? Next week. <laughs> no, seriously, we do. We have a, a board meeting in July and we start planning straight away for next year. So much we've learned from this year because it's so different. And a lot of what we've done this year we will take forward into future years, I think, and make the Highland Show even better. Well, what an excitement in there. And that brings this year's Scottish Championships to a close. If you've got a product you think is worthy of a gold award, why not consider putting it in for the Royal Holland Show 2022?